Very quietly overnight, the Trump administration made the recommendations about how many refugees will be allowed in the country for the 2021 fiscal year. And that fiscal year, well, that starts today. In a move that was not surprising to many, the administration again cut down the refugee cap to a new record low. And with the news, refugee advocate groups are worried about how many people they will be able to get to get or get out of dangerous parts of the world. Boise in Southern Idaho has been a welcoming home for so many refugees from all over the world for years. Joe Paris spoke with the International Rescue Committee here in Boise about the about this news and the impacts it could have. Late Wednesday, the Trump administration released their proposal for how many refugees will be allowed to resettle in the country for the 2021 fiscal year. The administration has sent over a report to Congress uh, with the um, admissions cap for this upcoming year to be set at 15,000. Georgette Siqueiros is the Community Engagement Coordinator for the International Rescue Committee in Boise. In part, the IRC works to resettle refugee families. This is a, a very low cap historically. The historic average has been 95,000. The 15,000 person cap is the lowest number since the beginning of the U.S. refugee admission program. The Trump administration set the previous low last year with a cap of 18,000, which is down from 30,000 and 45,000 in the previous two years. The diminishing cap has made resettling refugees more and more difficult for organizations like the IRC. You hear these numbers, the majority of people coming are children. So we're talking about the most vulnerable of the most vulnerable, um, and now only a few are making it to the Julianne Donnelly Tsoul is the executive director of the IRC in Boise. She explains how the 18,000 person cap affected Idaho refugee numbers this past year. 168. 168 people made it in compared to 1,100 in uh, prior years. So it is a dramatic a downward turn. The Trump administration says the cap reflects the continuing commitment to prioritize the safety and well-being of Americans, especially in light of the pandemic. Meanwhile, the IRC says the need around the world continues to grow. The global need is actually at the highest it's been in many years. Um, so we're seeing a really, really high need paired with a really low number, um, which just adds to, you know, it's a devastating number that we're seeing right now. The proposed cap for the 2021 fiscal year, which began Thursday, still needs final approval from the president. Until he signs off, new refugees will not be allowed to resettle. And although the cap is historically low, advocates are pushing the president to sign off so they can at least begin working on new resettlements. The U.S. has a long historical commitment to welcome people in need. Um, we have the ab ability, we have the resources to do it, and what we lack right now is just... Um, you know, the, the numbers and the dedication from, from the current administration to, to make it happen. So my thought is just always with the families um, who, who, you know, could be seeking safety and um, we're just currently not allowing that. While refugee groups do feel handcuffed by the news, teams like the IRC in Boise continue to work with refugee families in their community through a time that has been very challenging. Something that we have to dedicate ourselves to are the people who are here right and uh, think about how can we improve the quality of life of the people who are already a part of our um, community who are making our community uh, richer for being a part of it. Joe, you mentioned this and the graph that you showed there showed the trend of these decreasing numbers. So it wasn't a big surprise to a lot of people, but I imagine the last six months pretty challenging for the refugee community here. Yeah, resettling in a new country uh, pre-pandemic was already a huge hurdle. And when you add uh, the amount of job loss in the refugee community, as well as trying to just learn the culture virtually, there's not a lot of in-person things going on right now for obvious reason. Of course, all communities were really hit hard by the pandemic, but uh, talking with people at the IRC, they say, you know, that was compounded by people that were trying to just learn the culture and get going. Things like going back to school and learning new technology. Of course, as we head into the those colder months. There's also refugees from areas that are, are not used to cold winter weather. So the IRC right now is working to get everybody up to speed heading into the fall and the winter. Uh, Brian, almost every time we do a story like this, we have members of the community that say they want to help out mm -hmm. their refugee neighbors. And we're going to have a link on this story at KTVB.com to the IRC Facebook page where they actually have some uh, community events, virtual events coming up in the next few weeks. All right. A lot of people will be looking forward to that. Thank you very much, Joe.